Okay, we're here at Burnside West Christchurch University Cricket Club, uh, home ground Burnside Oval, beautiful cricket ground. We've got uh, four senior quality cricket blocks and then a large practice block, which is now on the screen in front of you. The number one block, just coming back into the middle there, was actually the 50th venue to uh, host a first class game in New Zealand, uh, back at a stage where Hagley Oval and the then Lancaster Park were out of uh, action for some time. Uh, so it's a great place to play cricket and uh, a great facility the club has. So we're in the start of uh, spring, so we're in early September, the 3rd of September. So there's quite a lot of work going on out on the park to get things ready for the season ahead for 2017-18. Part of that is the outfield, which uh, the Christchurch City Council, through their contractor, Recreation Services have uh, done significant work on the outfield, not only to repair it after the football season, but also unfortunately following um, some vandalism where some idiots got onto the park in a four wheel drive and thought it'd be a good idea to ruin everyone's uh, football season by ripping up the turf. So rec services have been through in the last two weeks and they've cored parts of the, the ground. Uh, they've also slit seeded it. And that machine has a roller on it, which helps to uh, even out the ground a little bit in preparation for the cricket season. Still a bit of work to do. There's some uh, pretty wet patches uh, where the ground's sitting a little bit lower. Water sits in there and that'll take some time to dry off. We have uh, been able to do some work on the blocks though. So we've started the cross rolling process. Um, and each of the blocks has had now at least two cross rolls other than the practice block, which has just had one. So unfortunately, after a couple of weeks of reasonable weather, we've had rain again, so that's just going to put the next cross roll back. So when you're cross rolling, really, that's your preparation for the season. Um, the amount of cross rolling, particularly on a well-established cricket pitch or cricket block that you do, um, really contributes to the compaction of the block for the whole season. So effectively, when you're cutting and marking out a pitch and rolling it prior to a game, it's just the, the top dressing or the polishing, if you like. Um, because most of the compaction's already been done. Really, you're only uh, on these surfaces, you're only compacting the top probably 75 mil, even with a heavy roller. And the club has a, a 3.8 tonne Sakai roller, which we're very lucky to have sourced some years ago and which really assists us in this process. So this is the club's uh, roller. It's a Sakai roller, which is powered by a Isuzu motor. Uh, 3.8 tonne, as I said before. Really, this is a real workhorse for the club. We can do a lot of that, uh, not only early season stuff, but stuff through the season to really compact those uh, blocks down and get, get them nice and hard. So we've got good, bouncy, well-paced pitches. Pitches here are a Heathcote clay soil composite. We've run those for uh, some years now, since the original renovations back in the 70s. And uh, they, they're a good club wicket. Um, probably because they're a lot easier to maintain than, uh, than Kakanui etc. Stuff that's uh, higher moisture content soil or clay, which is used in most uh, international venues in the South Island. Okay, so this is our number one block, which you can see currently it's got pretty good grass coverage where we'd want it to be for the beginning of spring. Uh, it's had, as I said before, the number one block and the other three playing blocks have all had at least two cross rolls. Uh, this one was last cross roll probably a week and a half ago and then it's just had a, uh, a cut about four or five days after we weed sprayed so there's still a little bit of broadleaf and uh, clover uh, in the surface that you can possibly see um, but certainly it's showing signs of stress already having been sprayed last weekend so we're in really good position at the moment in terms of grass cover and obviously we're going to get that spring growth through the next four weeks leading up to the season. So the uh, work for today is to square off the block. So what I mean by squaring off the block is obviously while it's fairly obvious uh, from the picture what's the cricket block and what's the outfield. Um, it's certainly not an exact science at this moment um, so we'll uh, identify exactly where the block edges are and then you run a system where you measure down uh, the west side and the north side um, effectively measure to create a, an equilateral triangle to ensure that your corners are square 
So you'll start in one corner, for example, north and west, um, and then from there you're able to square off the block and uh, mark it so that we know where we are for the start of the season. This block's got 10 pitches on it, the others uh, have 8 each, so with sufficient cricket on here through the season, probably uh, the pitches used early in the season will have um, significant repairs done to the footworks and with the weather and, and the growth that we're able to gain in the grass here at Burnside or in Christchurch, those pitches will be ready to use again in the, in the second half of the season if need be. Um, obviously a two day game, for example, uses the same pitch for two weeks in a row, so it really depends just how much cricket we have additional to the Saturday club stuff um, as to whether or not we'll go into a second usage of some of the individual strips.